Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video where I review cubes using stupid bikes. So today we are going to be talking about highly anticipated way long V9. Rubik's Cube from Moyu. As far as I know, Wellong V9 is designed to be Moyu's flat shape cube and is set to revolution 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 revolutionize the cubing industry. And today we'll take a closer look at what this cube has to offer and what makes this unreleased cube so special oh my god wow so first of all let's talk about the features of this new cube the bad features at first so we all know in wrf 2021 we could customize the magnets and uh, it had five settings and we could choose whatever we like but in wrm z9 moyu just threw away that magnet customization system and boom, we can't customize the magnets. And another con is that Moyu is still after like six years. So after also six years, they still have not changed their, I don't know what they call this setting, but yeah, this setting. Well, now let's look at the good features, something new. So, the Wellroom V9 has ball core system and magnets in both corner and edges that connect the ball corner, providing additional stability and control. Also, the larger gaps between the pieces could also improve the cube's turning and corner cutting abilities. So, this can be both advantage and disadvantage for like different types of cubers. If you like a fast cube, then yes, this is a very great thing, but if you like a slow cube, and something that is controllable, well, uh, this cube might not be your type, in my opinion. Furthermore, the Wellong V9 has magic clothing, which might just be a ripoff name for UV coating. I'm sorry, Moyu. I just had to say that because, like, what's the difference between this and this? Can someone explain me? So, let's just have my opinion for a little bit, okay? So, I think the Wilhelm V9 is going to be highly anticipated by many cubers for its potential. Like, Blue Garrick already got like official average on this cube and those salts are very clutchy, man. I think it's definitely going to be a game changer in our community. And I also think it is a GAN killer. Now, why I think it is going to be a GAN killer? Because it has all the modern GAN features except... It has lightweight, it has maglev, it has core magnets, it has UV coating. Yet, as far as I know, it's going to be cheaper than modern GAN cubes. We should have paid like almost $100 when you can get like... Every one of the features in just like cubes from the range of 15 to like, let's say for highest $40. Imagine this cube comes out and it's going to be like... $80 Hello, and why do I have to get called right thing. now? Let me tell you this. Wellong V9 is definitely going to be like a GAN cube but with a little bit more tactile feel. Now you may say why? Because we can't change the magnet to stronger or weaker. Now at last I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below if you guys think that this cube is going to beat Tornado V3 or not. <laughs>